It's Baltimore part of the DMV. You often hear this from a lot of out-of-town niggas. They be like, Baltimore and Maryland? So how is it not part of the DMV? Just shut the fuck up. You the type to still say be more. We don't want to hear your opinion. And the short answer for this question is no. Baltimore is not part of the DMV. Um, that doesn't make no sense. And the reason for this answer is quite simple. It's about culture. And the reason why it matters is quite simple. It's about music. See, us as Baltimore niggas, we feel like ain't nobody like us. And I'm sure the D.C. niggas feel the same. The Virginia niggas feel the same. And them other niggas in Maryland. But we have a certain accent. When you from the avenue, when the avenue, when the avenue, you walking you another nigga. We dress a certain way. We got a certain lingo. Thought it is, dummy. Our city got our own cash Our Our city got its own reputation. It's Baltimore, gentlemen. The gods will not save you. So why the fuck would we want to be grouped with other niggas that don't live the same lifestyle as us? But the problem is, it's always perception and a fight with reality. So when we go out of state and niggas ask us, hey, yo, where you from? From my nigga. A Baltimore nigga gonna say, I'm from Baltimore, dummy. A DC nigga gonna say, I'm from D.C. Virginia niggas gonna say Virginia. But the problem is, these other niggas in Maryland, they gonna say they from the DMV. Oh my God, corny, <laughs> lame, boo. Tomato, 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 I'm throwing tomatoes. And the reason why is quite fucking simple. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to this. Often the time in the black community, niggas is ashamed of where they from if it ain't the streets. Streets, the streets, the streets. And it's fucked up, but that's just how shit is. So if a nigga can't claim a block, they gon' claim a zone. If a nigga can't claim a zone, they gon' claim a side. If a nigga can't claim a side, they gon' claim a whole area. To make themselves seem tough around a bunch of niggas, they can't verify that backstory. Smack! Who is this nigga? <laughs> and trust me, I know. There's gangsters everywhere. Yeah, bitch, I know. But if you was really gangster, really real, you gonna rep where you from regardless because your name's your whole fucking weight. But see, niggas is insecure. So niggas say some shit like, I'm from the DMV. Because if they was to say what block they from, it'd be a fucking good neighborhood filled with good fucking kids with middle class parents. So let's dig a little bit deeper. So now that so many turkey ass niggas is claiming the DMV, when niggas migrate to different states and niggas ask where you from, a nigga will be like, I'm from Baltimore. And they'll be like, oh, the DMV? Which is starting to be a little bit more red, if I'm going to keep it real, due to the fact of the whole Avenue shit. <laughs> and all the two shit. Two. But it goes back to that perception versus reality. If I know I'm different from yo over there, and yo over there know that he different from me, but everybody else think we the same. What's really real? So the whole rest of America, they just think we DMV nigga. And personally, I think they got us fucked up. Fuck is you geeking for? Cause like I stated before, we nothing like them niggas. They know that and we know that. But let's dig even deeper. The fact that Baltimore nigga, DC nigga, Maryland nigga, and Virginia nigga know that they different, but everybody claiming we the same. Same, same. But different, but still same. Going obviously st the corny ass beat. But it's some internet. It's not real. If Baltimore niggas go out DC. Niggas is sick. If DC niggas come down Baltimore, niggas is sick. Nobody dying. Niggas just make a couple internet jokes and go about their day. But you know, now, ain't come the corny niggas who never been in the street gonna perpetuate it like it's real animosity. Which it ain't. So now both sides throwing stone from these corny ass meme paid, corny ass blog, and a couple corny nigga with follow gonna make that corny ass tweets. Corny ass nigga. So now niggas is gonna pick that side from where they reside. Which in turn got niggas only fucking with that side. So now let's dig even deeper. Trust me, it's some layers to this shit. Basically, niggas is in their own bubble. Niggas is in echo chambers of their own car. It's no collaboration. Maybe with D.C. and them other Maryland counties, but not with Baltimore. 
But who the fuck knows about them Virginia niggas? But basically, the DMV in Baltimore is weak because our forces is not being combined. So compared to all these other earth, we weak as shit. He's out of line, but he's right. When it come to pushing our culture forward, you see, here in modern day America, black people run culture and culture is money. And if your culture ain't powerful, you ain't making no fucking money. We do everything to get rich. We do everything to stay rich and do everything to stay richer. We not wearing each other clothing brand. We not listening to each other music. All rappers over here ain't popping over there. Their rappers over there ain't popping over here. People of importance over here ain't standing next to people of importance over there. So it's a bunch of isolation. And as you all know, isolation is a very dangerous thing. It's a weakness. And obviously, whatever we have been doing ain't fucking working. Because ain't too many people that made it from these areas. So now let's get into one of the big problems of this shit. The term DMV population to these large brands is large. So obviously, they gonna capitalize on the shit. So in turn, they gonna put people from the DMV in positions of power. No one man should have all that power. As a curator, tastemaker, basically a fucking gatekeeper. So obviously, if you been fucking paying attention, niggas from bottom don't rap the DMV. So we don't have no say so. We don't dictate shit. And yeah, some niggas might slip through the crack, but it ain't enough. And consequent, niggas is even more on some fuck that DMV type shit. Which makes the divide even worse. And I ask you, can you blame niggas? Let's play the play game. Every time it's a lit, every time it's a playlist, every time it's some type of event. And for every blog post and major cosign, it seems like the representation ain't there. And end up what you niggas mad at? And I ask you, bottom on them. Can you blame them? Let's play the play game. I love you. And yeah, I'm at niggas bushes. Cause niggas from DC, PG County, Montgomery County, Tacoma Park, Northern Virginia, Fairfax County, Prince William. They rap where they from. But this DMV shit is a bigger umbrella that they can rap or basically not down so they can get where they need to get in life. Look at this, we created this. This didn't exist before we were here. And while they building a foundation for this shit and niggas on the other side clowning the shit, of course they gonna say fuck niggas. So I put blame on both sides. So now let's get to the final layer of this shit. I feel like as far as progression, the power is in the hand of Baltimore nigga. It's like this. Either you gonna rap this shit or not. End of the day, bitch. Stick what you stick to and say what the fuck you say and mean what the fuck you say. And once you make that bed, you gotta lie in that shit. But I feel like if I say it like that, I already know how niggas gonna go. But I feel like if I tell niggas to think strategically, I'm swaying niggas' opinions. So I just say this. Baltimore, if you wanna be your own state, you gotta move like this shit. I don't wanna see this fake versus everybody mindset the sneakily eating dick in the DMs. You know you can go to jail for that shit, huh? What? Riding a nigga dick with no license? <laughs> Begging to be a part of movement. I want to see niggas build their own positions of power, such as blood, doing events, and make it understood that everybody can't be a fucking rapper. Uh, that's how you niggas sound. Understand the power of collaboration. Basically that one plus one equals three. Your fans become my fans. My fans become your fans, and the world see us. Which is easier said than done, but I feel like it's gonna take us getting behind one nigga from the city and push up, and hopefully you're not a fucking turk, cause you know how niggas get once they get a little money. Ladies, maybe get a word? Hide the money, y'all! There's poor people around! <laughs> they be on some fuck everybody shit, cause ain't nobody helping when they was down bad. But as black people, it shall always be your duty to so whenever you open the door, sneak as many niggas as you can in that bitch so we can finally go to the promised land. To freedom! <laughs> but anyway, the other option is to still rap the city. But if a nigga asks, hey, yo, is you from the DMV? You be like, yeah, but I'm from Baltimore. I ain't gonna lie. That shit sound like some shit that's not gonna happen. But fuck, because I can't lie. 
A nigga asked me if I'm from the DMV. I'm gonna be like, nah, I'm from Baltimore, bitch.